City of Los Angeles high school technical competitions attract over 300 students from 12 schools each year. Students from freshmen to seniors compete in six events including bridge building, catapult, glider, hydropower, windmill, and the popular mousetrap racer. The goal of these events is not only to help students become better problem solvers, but to give them an introduction to engineering as a career. In this show, we will follow a group of students from Belmont High School and experience what it takes to compete. The project that we're working on right now is the Mousetrap Racer, which is a small wooden race car that is powered by a mousetrap. It uses the spring to uh, rewind a string around the rear axle of the mousetrap racer, and when the spring on the mousetrap is set off, it'll unwind the string and propel the mousetrap forward. This is the last meeting before the competition, which is on Thursday, so hopefully we can get a lot of the bugs worked out here today. You don't want surprises the day of the competition, so we try and test them as often as possible. The mentors are engineers from the Bureau of Engineering. Um, they're all volunteer. They all come out on their own time and spend time with these kids. Uh, and they're all also highly motivated and want to see their, their students do well. So the mentors are really unselfishly helping these kids, but you can't help them get caught up with the competition and want to see your kids succeed. I'm going to keep changing the strings so I can win and get the trophy in the first place. Hopefully it works. It's going to be ready by Thursday. It's better be. And as you can see, that launch was pretty clean. And it certainly snapped really well. The string didn't get caught in anything. So you can have another stick there, that's fine. It's only a minute ago, it's ice ball. Well, the teachers are really the driving force behind these competitions because they, they see the students every day. And they can push them to uh, look for answers and work past problems so that the students don't, doesn't get stuck and give up. And these kids will meet the, the grown-up world and make some friends, make some connections and uh, hopefully have something um, to dream about in the future. That's you. That'll be just mark it that distance in from the end of the axle. Well, the city has an interest in making sure that uh, there's a strong base of students that go into technical fields. The more engineers that we can recruit from our city, the better it is for us because we have to take care of our own, our own infrastructure. I think that if the grown-up community, whether it be the corporate community or the educational community, if those people want to continue to find young blood and new recruits, new employees, new participants from the younger generations, they are going to have to get out of their offices, get out of their cubicles, and come back to the high schools and reconnect with the younger kids and give them um, give these kids the sense that the outside world is waiting for them. In the mousetrap competition, the object is to build a mousetrap-powered dragster and then race it on a 25-foot strip in a double elimination competition. This committee, the committee for Josue. Yeah. Okay. Support, man. The R2D2 and C3PO yeah. behind Josue. I like to get them to another, another school outside the boundaries of this territory and give them a something new to look at, new fresh air, a chance to uh, see something completely different than their normal uh, period one to six routine. That's one. Yes. The girls is two. Yes. The and purple one is three. three. Yes. Which girls one do we eliminate? One by one, Belmont's racers are being eliminated from competition. Tension mounts as the final race approaches. Will any of Belmont's racers make the cut, or will they go home empty-handed?
causes trouble with the racer as it continues to pull to the right. Hey, how much money hey, do you I still want, have a Yeah, much? I still have a quiz. Just for the time. Will bluing a coin to balance the racer work? All the hard work pays off as Belmont defies the odds and wins the race. The point of the competition is to build the strongest structure that is going to stand a repeated impact in the center about right here. For the competition, we're going to put an egg underneath the structure, and the structure is going to have to not crack and protect the egg underneath it. We're a mixture now. If somebody would go online to that site, it's a cement site, I'll tell you what, before, a sand, cement, water, gravel, put into I'm just being facilitator. I'm saying, uh, are we keeping within the rules? Uh, let's get some ideas. Uh, let's form teams to explore those ideas, whether that's what is the mixture of the concrete, what should be the form of the reinforcement, and what should be the shape of the uh, device itself. Yeah, a mass of water, and then go find a mass of sand, and then uh, gravel, and so on and so on. How does this help them? <laughs> thinking, number one. <laughs> Critical thinking. They have a problem to solve. They have uh, parameters, they have a design uh, criteria to use. So they have to use their imagination within the confines of the real world problems and come up with a real solution. That's real applied thinking. So it's, it's taken all five of you guys to make this amount. And how is each one, formula-wise, how is each one different? This one has no wire. No wire, OK. This one has one wire. One wire. And this one has one wire, but it's like six head. OK. It has double wire. It has two straight wires. OK. Well, anytime you get a kid that can actually think a problem through, you're going to be uh, much better off. Instead of math being numbers on a chalkboard, you've actually measured things. You know what they mean in, uh, in applied usage, so you can have something to relate to. Yeah, I think that really helps them. This right here is going to be the weight that we're dropping on. And this weighs at least 10 pounds. I got a good design. I don't know. It might work. We'll have to test that out. If it works, we'll do it. We work as a team all together. He's not in our team, he's in a different team, but what he does is he helps us and we help them. Everybody here helps everybody. And then whoever wins. Yeah, we're happy for each other. There's nobody here, nobody here brags whether they win or not. Everybody here is just like, it's like one giant team, team but everybody works individually. We also learn each other from our mistakes, so we that makes us a better team still like right. now they're beginning to refine their ideas the very round uh, circular dome probably has too much weight and will not fit in the dimension but it was a good try all of our collective brains and all of our collective muscles will end up finding the single formula of cement that will be what we use to make our true bridges <laughs>